Happy Friday! If you watched last week's video, we were in Boquete. Guess what? It's the same day as that last video and we're still in Boquete. <laughs> but now we're starting a huge Vivero tour of Chiriqui. Is what we plan to do pretty much all day long. And our first Vivero just so happens to be here in Boquete. So let me show you. It is a Panama Trees Vivero here in Boquete. And here it is. Okay, look guys, I am a massive plant nerd. Massive, massive plant nerd. So there aren't really any viveros close to where I am. So I have to like order things online from people in Bocas and they bring them to me in boats. I'm not kidding you, that's the way it works. Uh, I'm really excited to just be able to like walk through an actual plant nursery and find some fun things for the property. I have no idea what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for things that A, speak to me, and B, will grow in that heat that we have in Bocas. So follow me along on our journey today. There's definitely gonna be some beautiful stuff. Okay, so here's what's fun. This is all cranberry, this is all cranberry hibiscus here. And I have this just growing in my yard like a weed. I literally can break a piece off and throw it in the dirt and it just grows another bush. And they want $4 a piece for those. But these coleus over here, it looks like they want $2 a piece for them. And I definitely need some coleus for this shady border area I'm making in the front garden. So I'm gonna pick out a couple different types of these. Literally first Vivero and I'm gonna fill up the truck before we even get out of here. Okay, this is called, it's uh, Al Khalifa. Uh, begonia. Begonia. Ah, oh, begonia. Okay. So he says this will grow in um, in Bocas. I, I'm going to put it in a shady area and see. It's five bucks and it's huge. So we're going to try that. Lord, they had me at herbs. Okay. So this is like a Cuban oregano. Popsy brought me a cutting of this from his garden and it's growing like crazy at my place. So I have that. These are mints which I just planted a mint garden, so I'm good there. But I just smelled these and I think these are mints too. And they are beautiful. So I think I'm gonna get one of these. Like, yeah, poor Brian. I know, there's tons of herbs. Like, tons of herbs. Oh my God, we're gonna need a bigger truck, dear. Uh, Aaron and Ricky are gonna have to stick around for another week. Yeah. <laughs> they got a lot of planting to do. Exactly. We have work awares now that have been working on gardens for us. Oh my god, here's the next room, it's huge. I'm not too much of a like showy, showy flowers kind of person. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, I'll tell you the biggest problem about the Viveros in Panama. And I have shopped at a few like in Panama City and in David. Um, they don't mark things. So like when I go to Home Depot or whatever, you know, they have like a little sticker that tells you the scientific name, if it needs sun or shade or blah, blah, blah. Well, they don't have that here. So for me, who is a admitted plant nerd, but also admittedly very plant ignorant, it can make things a little difficult. So a lot of what I do is trial and error. <laughs> so now, okay, so now we're in one of the outside garden areas. I mean, it's just so beautiful. We just found another one we like, like this dark, kind of purpley elephant ear stuff. And then the underside is beautiful. Yeah, love it. All right, now we're in like the last little part. Like, man, I was just telling Brian, if this stuff was marked and I knew what any of it was, I'd probably buy all of it. So maybe it's a good thing it's not marked. Okay, so here's our haul from Panama Trees in Bocate. So this really cool elephant eerie kind of thing. I don't know what it is. Um, this super cool coleus for my shade garden. This begonia, as you can tell, I kind of like the maybe not so brighter green stuff. I like kind of the dark stuff because I have so much bright green around me. And then these herbs, which I'm not 100% sure what all of them are. I think a basil and maybe an oregano, definitely a rosemary and some sort of mint. Okay, so that's our haul. We're waiting to check out and see how much all this costs us. All right, so that plant haul, 22 bucks. That's not bad at all. Uh, but what did happen is the rain came. This is the most rain I've seen in like almost three weeks. It's not been raining in Bocas. Brian's screaming keys. <laughs> all right, I better get in the car. We got more Viveros to visit. 
We have three more Viveros to tour, but before we do that, I need to remind you of a few things. Number one, you need to subscribe, so hit that button right now. Number two, you need to click the little notification bell. That way, every time we update, which is normally on Fridays, but sometimes we have breaking news, you will get a notification. And if you want to talk plants or anything else Panama, you need to head over to the IGO Panama Facebook group. We've got, I think, somewhere around 2,400, 2,300, 2,400 people over there right now that are ready to answer any question you might have about Panama, whether it's living here or visiting here. All right, so do all of that for me, please. And then let's head back out on the road and see some more Viveros. <laughs> One of the things I love about Panama. Okay, we have reached our second Vivero for the day. Uh, this is Vivero Sebastian, and it is not in Boquete and not in David. I don't know where we are. We're in some rural sort of area, kind of in between David and Boquete-ish, sort of. Uh, but a good friend of mine in focus who knows lots and lots and lots about plants uh, said that I needed to come here so this is where we are for today we'll see what I can find and uh, I, I and I will be putting a map in the video description uh, a link to a map that will show you where all of these different viveros are wow it looks really small from the front but then when you get back here holy moly it's really big and really cool and again, I just wish they would mark things so I knew what I was looking at. Oh, holy moly, it's even bigger than I thought. Here's a whole area of shade stuff, and it goes way back there. And so my friend said they have a lot of grafted fruit trees here. So that'll be interesting once we get back there. Um, this place just does not stop. It just keeps going. I mean, I see greenhouses way back there. This place is huge. So now I see why Bruce recommended it to me. But again, I just don't know what I'm looking at. I have no idea. So we've almost reached the back. I mean, we came from way up there. See these gorgeous bamboos back behind. But they have all these lovely palms that I have no idea what any of them are. They have all of these lovely plants and I have no idea what any of them are. I don't know. It just seems like you could put a sign up and say what it is. You know, I try to use plant snap apps or things like that, but they're not always super reliable. All right, well, we're almost to the back of this thing. I mean, this is definitely the largest selection of things, but we're only on Vivero Numero Dos, so the second one of the day. But so far, it's pretty amazing. Okay, this place just keeps going and going. Brian was all like, I wonder how many customers they lose a year. And not like financial loss, like lost in the, <laughs> in the Vivero. It's like, I've never been in a place like this. What? Oh my God. Oh my God. And this is like a, going on like a tour of something really cool. But you just don't know exactly what you're looking at unless you're a good plant person, which unfortunately I'm not. Okay, so now we're in like the back corner of it, and yeah. I mean, Brian and I were trying to figure out how many tens of thousands of plants there are. I think we're talking more like hundreds of thousands, don't yeah, you? I yeah. So. I mean, just the sheer amount of plants here. Sorry, my ringtone for my business. Um, is, is crazy. And all they would have to do is put like a little sign right here at the front of this row with a scientific name on it. So I could look it up and know what I'm looking at. I mean, and I would probably walk out of here with tons of stuff, but unfortunately, I just don't know. So I was just walking by and I just saw these like balls on these limbs and I immediately recognized what it was. It's where they're doing the, what do they call it? Air rooting? Grapping, yeah. Air, yeah. like, yeah, basically you put these little wads of dirt around the branch and it'll form a root and then you can cut it off and plant it. So we've been, we tried to do a little bit of that at our place using some aluminum foil, that didn't work so great. 
but Brian was going to get some of those plastic ones when he was in the States and he forgot. But yeah, we tried it on some of our citrus and it didn't work so great. Okay, so all those plants and we came up with these two. I'm not 100% sure what they are. I think they are in the Agu, uh, Ak, oh, what was it called? Arucaria genus. From what I could find on plant app, I talked to the guy and he said it was some kind of pine, uh, which is what they're saying this Agucaria species is. I had a whole discussion with him in Spanish about what it is, how big it gets, and if it needs sun or shade, and if it, he thinks it'll grow in bocas. He says yes, and Brian fell in love with that plant. So, what we was our? Go home empty -handed. We couldn't go home empty-handed out of here. I really like likes the desert. So, <laughs> so what was our grand total for those two? Eight dollars. Eight bucks. All right, we're off to the next vivero. Well, we've driven a really long way to this place called Sortova, which is like from David going toward Costa Rica, kind of. Vivero Miriam, which was highly recommended, which has a sign that says Abierto, but no es Abierto. It's locked. Oh, oh, there's abierto. someone. Oh, yay, it is Abierto. Oh, ho, ho. I'm very glad I got in. Ooh, that's nice. I like this. <laughs> es para sombre? Sí, mi sombre. Ooh, I like that. ¿Cuánto cuesta? En dos, pero begonia, aquel sector. Begonia allá. Okay, okay. Oh, that's nice. I'm learning that I like begonia. I didn't really know. Tons of ornamentals. Like, Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at these orchids. Wow. I know. I think we need some of that, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this one. I know. I like those too with the pink stripes. See? Mm -hmm. Do you want to get this one? Yeah, there's a smaller one there. If you want the smaller one? Yeah, the smaller one's better. And one of these with the pink stripes. Okay, let me get back here and get in this. Oh, that's cool. Wow. So, I mean, this place is huge. I think this is my favorite so far. What do you think, Brian? Yes. Yes. Except, I'm not a big fan of pokey cactus. I mean, she's got everything here. It, it It's super cool. Yeah, if you like cactus, this is the place to go. I've not seen this many cactus species anywhere. I mean, we don't really... Ooh! Ooh! No. Icolias? No. It's no? Gamma oh. Some of this stuff does not even look real. It looks like it's plastic. I mean, those are gorgeous. I have to have. Have to. This is my jam. This place is my jam. Oh my god, look at these. These orchids are amazing. I wish I knew more about them. I don't know anything about them. I am telling you what. I could spend a month up in here. Oh my god, those are beautiful too. That's a big pot though. I'll definitely be coming back to this one. This is just amazing oh, and there's just more and more and more and the great thing is is that she's like coming with us and I told her that we live in Boca so she tells us what will do good in there and what won't because I mean especially our problem is the heat mm-hmm it's so pretty I'm sorry I'm ready to just buy this entire property and move in I am so pleased with this place, I cannot tell you. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plants, like really exotic, interesting things for 48. I'm very pleased. Like these two were the most expensive. This one and this one were 15 each. Um, everything else was like $2 practically. This was four and this thing is amazing. Okay, that is my new favorite place in Panama, bar none. 
that place was amazing. Um, I could have bought 50 more things in there if we had room. Like literally we come to David to stock up on food. At this point, we don't have any room for food. Pretty much. We just have plants. I was waiting for her to say no more food, <laughs> more plants. Yeah. Ugh. Seriously, and Miriam was the lady that was taking us around. It's Vivero Miriam. And she was so lovely. Because the problem is, is because things aren't tagged anywhere, I can't look it up and see, does it need sun? Does it need shade? So I can make a, a smart decision before I purchase it because I don't want to just kill things because I either have a ton of sun or a ton of shade. I don't have a whole lot in between and it rains a lot in Bocas, right? So things have to be able to live in those conditions. So she was really great about saying, yeah, this is not good for Bocas. It needs to be cooler climate. No, this is good, but it needs a lot of sun. This one needs the shade. <sighs> yeah, favorite place. We found place. Mary's happy place. This is my Panamanian happy place, like no lie. So we will be back here again. Okay, we gotta go find some more before every place starts closing down for the evening. Okay, so Google Maps told us that this is Vivero Ismael Sortova, but there's no sign. I don't know if we're in a Vivero or just someone's yard. Okay, so yes, it is Vivero Ismael Sortova. And it's only like half a mile from Maria's place, which makes it worth a stop. That's really cool. Oh, that's really neat. Yeah, that looks like it wants marshy, wet stuff. Down which by the creek. pretty much explains most of our property. Okay, we're just going to wander around back here in these people's yard with no sign. Uh, <laughs> oh, look what they've got. These, oh, I want these so bad. These are, let me see if I can show you one close up. These are the Dutchman's pipe. The Dutchman's pipe vine. Gorgeous. This I need. Wander. <gasps> Ooh, those are pretty. That's like what I bought today. So they do have the Dutchman's pipe. The small ones are like two bucks, which is awesome. Look at how beautiful this is back here. This yard is just gorgeous. It's like each Vivero is completely different with like completely different things that they specialize in. So I'm going to go look inside here. And I love how a lot of them have uh, bamboo structures for their greenhouses. Super cool. This is such a weird heliconia. It's like fuzzy. I've not seen one like that. Oh look, and it has like a little thing coming out. But this place is really cool. Like Sortova. Like if I ever get run out of Bocas, which is always a distinct possibility with my personality and opinions, um, <laughs> you might find me in Sortova. Like I think Sortova would be a cool place to live because you're like really close to David, like, I don't know, less than 30 minutes. But it's all like mainly local people. So it's not all expatty like Boquete. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it here. Plus you can get plants all day long. Oh, I have these, these big, huge torch genders. I love how these Viveros like are like these mazes. Like you walk in the front yard and you're like, oh, well, there's not that much here. But then you just keep going and going and going in these just amazing like paths with these different greenhouses. Ugh. Yeah, um, if you are a plant person, get the two Sortova. Mm. Oh, these are all blooming. Are they the same, the desert rose? Yes. If you want to keep it in a pot in the house, you can have one. Here's where they're building one of those greenhouses out of that bamboo. It's so cool. Like, I really want this. Look at all these nice coleus. See this nice border here? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to do by the dock path. Look and see they use the bamboo as a border too. Uh -huh. That's so cool. I'm telling you, it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Look at the bases of these. Oh, I have so much to learn. Okay, we are very pleased with this place too. Like I'm telling you from the driveway, you never would imagine all this was back here. Okay, so we came out of uh, Vivero Ismael Sortova, I think I've already forgotten. Sortova with eight plants, $24. I'm telling you, we are doing a killing. These I'm really excited about. These are like um, a real vining. They're these, They're, they vine and they make these beautiful flowers. 
but they were big. I mean, we're running out of room in the truck, and so I just asked her, you know, you, uh, tenga esta pequeña? She's like, yes, she went and got me some. So we're very pleased with this one as well.